what is up you guys welcome back to another vlog don't mind the mess that we have inside the warehouse right now literally i just got done painting the whole warehouse yesterday so if you guys remember there was some like blotches on the wall but got all of that fixed super super nice in here but we have a drop off right now i'm gonna go ahead and open up real quick talk to the customer bring you guys right back out and i'll show you guys where our next project is yeah the floor makes a big difference man these fenders look aggressive, dude. These are gonna be fun. But now the car's gonna look amazing, dude, once it's finished, dude. And then are we gonna leave, are we gonna do anything black, like the roof, mirrors, anything? Yeah, let's do black on the roof. Okay, I think that would look killer. Sweet, dude, no, this car's super clean, bro. Have you No, well, I have, I did, I did Roberts. But not, but not this, not this style, so, yeah. Yeah, I did, I did, is that what he has? Yeah, I think it was the MR, yeah. So this Evo dropped off a couple days ago. Uh, we didn't come in throughout the weekend. So I just actually came in this morning. I happened to pick up the color that we're going to be wrapping the car, which is a Nozotech Super Gloss Chalk Gray. So now this color is definitely a big change from the original uh, metallic gold. You guys can see that the car sprayed in. Uh, this is not an original OEM color. So this is actually uh, custom painted. My main concern is I don't want to have to lift up the vinyl or anything like that and actually have the paint uh, lift up. So I did have to mention to my customer that there's always a possibility of clear coat or paint lifting up when I actually wrap. So now that I gave you guys the breakdown on the car, the paint job and my main concerns with the car, I'm going to go ahead and set you guys up. We're going to go ahead and start the disassembly process on this car, um, start prepping it. Once that's all finished up, go ahead and bring you guys back and let's go ahead and start wrapping it. All right guys, so me and Federico just laid the passenger side quarter panel as you guys can see. Uh, we did happen to do everything separate just because this car is yellow. Um, we're wrapping it a lighter color. So if we miss any spots or anything like that, the yellow will be standing out. So we wanna make sure that we're taking the vinyl in super deep or at least deep enough to where the doors are closed. Everything's nice and consistent. So I'm gonna set you guys back up, knock out the quarter panel once I'm finished up. I'm gonna bring you guys back out and I'll show you guys the finished product. Yo, what is up you guys? Welcome back to day three on the Evo. So you guys can see Federico is in the back. He's currently wrapping the trunk right now. So while he works on the trunk, I'm actually going to go ahead and get all of the inlays done on the fender so you guys can see, um, as I explained earlier in the video, that these are actually very, very aggressive and these are gonna take quite a bit. So we have one inlay that has to go up top, one inlay up bottom. Uh, we'll throw another two inlays right here on the bottom vents as well. And you guys can see where my knifeless is. This is going to be a separate inlay too. So uh, we do have one more inlay, which will go on the inner side right here, but I'm thinking we're going to end up doing an overlay. Uh, reason being is just because this is where the tire actually is. So this is where the fender will end up getting beat the most. So uh, it's best just to replace this one piece versus actually replacing the whole fender. So we'll probably end up wrapping the whole fender. We'll cut it off right here and then we'll go ahead and put another piece on. Uh, just so that this one time comes and this piece needs to be replaced Place, we can just go ahead and replace it from here on back.
So just through on the uh, passenger side fender, you guys can see my inlays. Uh, I got two inlays right here, two inlays on the bottom vent, and then we went ahead and put an inlay on the back fence as well. So now that the fender is ready to go, we're going to go ahead and do one final wipe down. We're going to go ahead and lay the whole piece right now. And Federico's over here, he actually literally just finished up the fender, or he's got to do the inlay or the overlay as well, cut off the two vents. And we happen to go ahead and get another drop off as well. So we got the Honda Civic in shot for a full wrap. It's actually going to be getting wrapped in an Innos Tech uh, Super Gloss Neon Mint. Very, very dope color. So I'm gonna go ahead and do one final wipe down really quickly on the fender. I'm gonna set you guys up and let's go ahead and knock this one out. All right guys, so currently in the process of wrapping the fender, uh, it's actually being a lot more pain in the ass than I expected. And Federico ran into some issues when we were doing his, so you guys can see he actually came up short on his inlay up here. So uh, what I told him to go ahead and do, we're actually just going to go ahead and rewrap the whole fender so this will end up coming off. And then we'll end up bringing our inlays a little bit down farther, just so that this one will be flush cut right here. Everything will go ahead and uh, sit nice and even. So um, this is obviously savable. We can throw in an overlay, but in my eyes, I don't think it'll look good. So we're just gonna go ahead and rewrap the whole thing. We'll redo our inlays and we'll go ahead and get this done. Just got the fender fully unwrapped. So we're gonna go ahead and do the inlays really quickly. And then as far as the main piece on the fender, we're actually just gonna go ahead and save this one for tomorrow. Um, usually on things that we mess up on, I don't like to go ahead and redo the same day just because it's very frustrating. So I wanna make sure that we come into shop tomorrow with a fresh mind, get that one rewrapped the correct way. And yeah, Federico's actually going to go ahead and start wrapping the side skirt. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish this one up really fast, set you guys up. I'll bring you guys back. And then from there, I think we're just gonna go ahead and call it a day, so. So everything is pretty much wrapped up on the Evo. We have all of the fender flare pieces. We do have to do an overlay right here as well, another overlay on the inner fender piece. But other than that, this Evo is pretty much ready to go. So uh, what me and Federico are currently doing right now, you guys can see he's throwing in the door handles. We're pretty much just getting this Evo ready to go. Um, but yeah, so I say we, may, we have maybe about an hour and a half into reassembly and then doing full wipe down, pretty much getting it ready. And then from there, this one's pretty much ready to go ahead and go home. All right guys, so me and Federico just finished up the Evo. Everything is reassembled back on. Um, it is missing like the front carbon lip. Um, the fender flares need to go back on. Uh, the customer said he was actually going to do that just because since it is uh, 3M double-sided tape, uh, there's no bolts at all that holds up the flares. He said he'd go ahead and do it just to go ahead and ensure that nothing comes off. Especially if we didn't, I wouldn't want him driving down the freeway and his fender flare flying off or something like that. So, so the customer is actually going to be picking up in maybe about three or four hours. Um, I'm actually going to go ahead and get out of here. I just want to do a full walk around of the car before it actually leaves. My boy Federico is going to be sitting behind to go ahead and get this one delivered out. First thing in the morning, we will be uh, starting the X4M. So this X4M just got disassembled, fully prepped today as you guys can see. Fully ready to go, got the rear bumper, all the uh, door panels on the bottom or the door rocker panels, whatever they are. Door moldings, door handles, mirrors, fender flares, front bumper, rear bumper. Yeah, fully disassembled on this car. All right guys, that is going to be it for this vlog. I truly appreciate everybody that stayed, watched the whole video. Be sure to smash the thumbs up button for me, like and subscribe. And for those of you guys that are inquiring about wraps or anything like that, or if you guys need to get a hold of me, shoot me an email, I'll link it down below. Just gonna go ahead and do some final shots of the Evo, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.